हेलो फ्रेंड आई होप योर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग वेल एंड माय वीडियो इज हेल्पिंग यू टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज फ्रॉम हीट ट्रांसफर एंड बेस्ड ऑन कांसेप्ट ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर एंड इट इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इजी प्रॉब्लम सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड व्हाट यू हैव टू फाइंड इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन इनलेट टेंपरेचर ऑफ हॉट एंड कोल्ड फ्लूइड इज गिवन which is 200 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius respectively also the outlet temperature of hot and cold fluid are given which is equal to 130 degree celsius and 170 degree celsius respectively and we have to find the value of number of transfer unit for the given heat exchanger but it have not clarified that is it a parallel or counter flow heat exchanger so to know it look at the outlet temperature of cold fluid and outlet temperature of hot fluid here outlet temperature of cold fluid is 170 degree celsius and outlet temperature of hot fluid is 130 degree celsius and from here it is clear that outlet temperature of cold fluid is greater than the outlet temperature of hot fluid and we know in case of counter flow heat exchanger the outlet temperature of cold fluid is greater than the outlet temperature of hot fluid so now it is clear that the given heat exchanger is a type of counter flow heat exchanger and friend i hope you have understand till now now let's go for the solution here th1 is inlet temperature of hot fluid and tc1 is inlet temperature of cold fluid TH2 is outlet temperature of hot fluid and TC2 is outlet temperature of cold fluid and this value is given in the question and we know friend the value of value of number of transfer unit that is NTU is equal to overall heat transfer that is U into area divided by minimum heat capacity and in the question the value of U by divided by C mean is not given so to know the value of NTU we calculate this value by the given data here temperature difference at the inlet that is theta 1 is equal to th1 minus tc2 theta 1 is this value and it is equal to 200 minus 170 so theta 1 is equal to 30 degree celsius and theta 2 is outlet temperature difference that is this value and theta 2 is equal to 130 minus 100 and it also equal to 30 degree celsius so theta 1 is equal to theta 2 and this counter flow heat exchanger become a balanced counter flow heat exchanger and for the balanced counter flow heat exchanger the heat capacity of hot fluid is equal to heat capacity of cold fluid now the value of lmtd that is theta m is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2 and it is equal to 30 degree celsius since heat transfer in heat exchanger is a adiabatic process so the heat loss by the hot fluid is equal to heat gain by the cold fluid now we can equate the heat transfer for the given heat exchanger is equal to either heat loss by the hot fluid or heat gain by the cold fluid so here i am equating heat transfer for the given heat exchanger is equal to heat loss by the hot fluid and we know heat transfer for the exchanger is equal to ua theta m so it become u a theta m is equal to m c h into t h 1 minus t h 2 and we can write it like u a divided by m c h is equal to t h 1 minus t h 2 divided by theta m and here m c h is equal to heat capacity of hot fluid and here heat capacity of hot fluid is equal to heat capacity of cold fluid so minimum heat capacity is equal to any one of them and now this equation become ua divided by c min and th1 minus th2 that is 200 minus 130 so it equal to 70 and theta m is equal to 30 and ua divided by c min is ntu that is number of transfer unit so the value of ntu is equal to 2.33 so friend i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubt feel free to ask in comment section we try to solve as quick as possible thank you for watching this tutorial